We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle round to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive. It is time we lead ourselves into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive in this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. Love is the only answer. Love is the way to go. Oh, love, 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 love. Let our circle grow. Love is the only answer. Love is the way to go. Oh, love, 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 love. Let our circle grow a little louder. Love is the only answer. Love is the way to go. Love, 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 love. Let our circle grow. Hey, this kind of sounds like raindrops, which is interesting because today, early this morning, I'm out here, it's a cloudy day. I don't hear rain right now and I don't see the rain. I can hear the birds in my yard. But today just might be a rainy day. So that means you have to be prepared. If you're going out for your walk, your bike ride, going where you go with your family, you might need something for the rain. You might need your umbrella, my friends. If it gets really bad, you might need a rain jacket or rain boots. Hey, dum, diddly, dum. Hey, dum, diddly, dum. Hey, dum, diddly. Hey, dum, diddly. Hey, dum, diddly, dum. Hello, Angela, hello. Hello, Pradeep, hello. Hello, Sandy, and hello, Ashraf, and hello, Jake, hello. Hello, Ken, hello. And hello, Sophia. Hello, ho, ho, and hello, Vanny, and hello, Miss Colterman, hello, friends, hello. Hello, my friends, so good to see you today. A little bit cloudy, but we've got sun in our heart. Keep on the sunny side of life. Look at this beautiful painting. This is because we're also honoring turtles this week for World Turtle Day, May 23rd. This is a beautiful painting called the Ojibwe Creation Story, Turtle Island. And the story basically is in the Ojibwe tradition that North America, which is the continent that we live on, um, that the continent was created from a turtle just like you see in this picture. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that the land that we are hosted on today is the land of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. And here where I live at Lake Simcoe, I walk the sacred land of the, of the Ojibwe and the Chippewa. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nation, Métis, and Inuit peoples. 
and I begin with this for you. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you know peace indeed, especially this weekend because happy Victoria Day, May 24th. Remember yesterday we made these paintings with old paper rolls that I cut. And it's supposed to look like fireworks for Victoria Day. So this weekend you have a holiday on Monday. You won't be coming to school on Monday. You won't see me in our virtual class online. And it's typically a weekend when we celebrate with fireworks to honor Queen Victoria, who was really um, instrumental at the time that Canada was becoming, was forming confederation. She was the Queen of England at the time, and she was very, very involved in Canada. So that's why we honor her with this holiday. So it's going to be a fun weekend. You get an extra week, an extra day to yourself or with your family, or maybe you'll see some fireworks. Maybe you'll see them at your home or in your community, or maybe you, you'll have to watch it on television or online. I'm not sure. So today, because it's a little bit cloudy, I wanted to bring out my rain stick. Look at this beautiful instrument. We made these in class years ago. We took a tube and we filled it. I can hear that. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. It's kind of a neat sound as, as you can hear these things coming, dropping down the tube. They make sound like rain. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and he bumped his head. He couldn't get up in the morning. Weave, weave, weave me the sunshine out of the falling rain. Weave me the hope of a new tomorrow, fill my cup of tea. <clears throat> weave, weave, weave. So that's a rain stick, and what a pretty sound that can make. There we go, let's get my drum back out. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Do 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 do. Let's do, let the sun shine in, face it with a grin. Smilers never lose and frowners never win. So let the sun shine in, face it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. The earth is our Take care of her. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Hey, Nana, ho, Nana. Hey, now, now. Hey, Nana, ho, Nana. Hey, now, now. This sacred land we walk upon with every step we take. This sacred land we walk upon. The 
this land that we walk, it's very sacred. It's so special to us. So this weekend, for example, with the long Victoria Day weekend, the May 2-4 weekend, it goes by a few different names, May 24th weekend, Firecracker Day. If you're out walking, especially if you're out walking in a forest, be really mindful, thinking about not destroying the things that you see in the, in the forest or in a park. For example, if you see beautiful flowers, trees, blossoms on trees, dandelions, let them all grow. Snails, mushrooms, all these things that are in the forest or in the parks, just let them be and let them grow. Particularly right now, you're probably going to see a lot of dandelions. And you be, might be tempted to pick them. But I prefer that you keep them in the ground because dandelions are really important. They help attract bees. And bees are also really important because we need them to pollinate flowers, vegetables, fruits. Bees are also great for making honey, which you might love. This is so cool because you can see how a dandelion starts smaller, then it opens up, then at nighttime it closes again. So it starts as a yellow one, and then it slowly changes over to white. It opens up white, and then it often blows away. The wind will blow it, and those seeds will start a new dandelion somewhere else. So don't be tempted to pick them this weekend if you can avoid it. Another thing I'd love you to do is start making your own sandwiches at your house. Whatever is your favorite sandwich. A nice avocado on bread or a nice tomato sandwich with some lettuce. It's your choice. Whatever is your favorite. It's your job to make the sandwich. I'm going to try this song again. I blew it yesterday, so I'm going to try it again today. This is the peanut butter and jelly song. So if you want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you take one piece of bread, put peanut butter on it, put jelly or jam, and then put another piece of bread on top, cut it, and there you've got a peanut, peanut butter, Jelly, peanut, peanut butter, jelly. First, you take the peanuts and you pick them. You pick them, you pick a pick a pick them, then you squash them, you squash them, you squash them, squash them, squash them, then you spread them, you spread them, you spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the berries and you pick them. You pick them, you pick a pick a pick, and then you squash them, you squash them, you squash, you squash, you squash them, you spread them, you spread them, you spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Yummy. Well, in real life, you don't have to take your, you don't have to pick the peanuts and the, the um, berries, because you already have peanut butter in a jar, you probably have jelly or jam in a jar. But it's kind of fun just to think about that one. Okay, let's go back to my drumming. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a world this would be. The whole world would be sweet. If we had candy flowing from the sky like rain. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a world this would be. Indeed. Thank you for this day, students. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, students. Thank you for this day. This beautiful, wonderful, 
glorious day, this beautiful, wonderful, glorious day. Indeed, every day is a glorious day when I get to hang out with you. I feel very honored to teach you each day. Okay, let's get the tambourine out and get moving a little bit. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my silly out, shake, shake, shake my silly out, shake, shake, shake my silly out, wiggle my woggle go away. I'm gonna stretch, stretch, stretch my silly out, stretch, stretch, stretch my silly out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my sillies out. Wiggle my woggles away. Whew. Now we're going to stretch out. We're going to stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out. Wiggle your woggles away. Good for you. Ole, 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 clap your hands, ole, 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 tap your leg, ole, 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 tap your head. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole, wave your hand. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Good for you. I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, Hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for clapping. Clapping along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey. What do you say? I'm in the mood for that. I'm in the mood for rolling. Hey, how about you? Roll your arms. I'm in the mood for rolling. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for rolling. Rolling along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey. What do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Whew. Now we're going to stretch it up and clap. I'm in the mood for stretching. Hey, how about you? Good work. I'm in the mood for stretching. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stretching. Stretching along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Woo! Shake it out a little bit and have a sip of your water. There we go, friends. Now, I want to show you a book I brought for today. It says... My Treasury of Nursery Rhymes. Well, some of you might say, Miss Coulterman, we're teenagers. We're not into nursery rhymes. But you're wrong. 
everybody's into nursery rhymes. People of all ages enjoy nursery rhymes because they're very, very old, old poems or stories that have been converted into some songs that we like to enjoy. But one of the advantages of doing these nursery rhymes is for some of the students, it helps you doing various sounds with your mouth. For example, I always like to do this one with you. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. And all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, sea, sea. And that practices the S sound. So some of these nursery rhymes are really cool because it helps you work on those sounds. Let's see which one we have. High school students use nursery rhymes Sometimes when they're doing poem writing, when they're writing rap songs, when they're doing art, they use nursery rhymes. I know, isn't that cool? When they're learning rap. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go, go, go. That's another one that's really good for you to practice. Go, make the O. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down, broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow, whoop, the cat, and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Ladybugs, here we go. One little, two little, three little ladybugs. Four little, five little, six little ladybugs. Seven little, eight little, nine little ladybugs. Ten little ladybugs here. And right now, because it's spring, you could probably see ladybugs outside. Let's go backwards. Ten little, nine little, eight little ladybugs. Seven, little six, little five, little ladybugs. Four, little three, little two, little ladybugs. One little ladybug here. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The door on the bus goes open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The door on the bus goes open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. 
The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back all through the town. Oh, here's one about a bridge, London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Ba, ba, black sheep. This is good for ba, ba, ba sound. Try it with me. Ba, ba, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for you and one for me and one for the little guy hiding in a tree. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Oh, here's the one I've been doing all, all week. A sailor went to sea, sea, sea. Oh, boy, here's a tricky one. It's going to be hard for Miss Coulterman, but I'm going to try it. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. And if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells she seashore shells. That's a tricky, it's called a tongue twister. It means that your words all get mixed up a little bit. I'm gonna try it one more time. I wanna to try to make it through successfully. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. And if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Oh my gosh, that is tricky. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb, he pulled out a thumb and said, what a good boy am I. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki take it off again, Suki take it off again, Suki take it off again, they've all gone away. I'm a little teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Let's do just a couple more. The farmer in the dell the farmer in the dell. Hi ho the dairy ho, the farmer in the dell. The dell is this big grassy knoll, this big grassy area he's on. The farmer picks his wife, the farmer picks his wife. Hi ho the dairy ho, the farmer picks his wife. The wife picks his daughter, the wife picks her daughter. Hi ho the dairy ho, the wife picks her daughter, the daughter picks the brother, the daughter picks the brother, hi ho the dairy ho, the daughter picks the brother, the brother picks the dog, 
The brother picks the dog. Hi ho, the dearie ho. The brother picks the dog. Here's little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. So that's a few nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes help us because they help us form words. And I think that's important. We're always trying to learn how to say words correctly. And we're also really, really trying hard not to spit or drool when we speak. We don't want to be standing, spitting, or drooling. So closing your lips is an important thing for you to learn. Ducks like rain. Ducks like rain. Ducks like splishing, splashing in the rain. Ducks like rain. Ducks like rain. Ducks like to whittle waddle, water knee deep in the puddle. Ducks like splishing, splashing in the rain. Here's the mountains. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot, toot. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot, toot. She'll be coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot, toot. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Hold back. Riding six white horses when she comes. Hold back. Riding six white horses. Riding six white horses. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Hold back. Toot, toot. And we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. We'll all go out to meet her. We'll all go out to meet her. We will all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. Hold back. Toot, toot. And we'll have a great big party when she comes. Yum, yum. We'll have a great big party when she comes. Yum, yum. We'll have a great big party. We'll have a great big party. We'll have a great big party when she comes. Yum, yum. Hi, babe. Hold back. Toot, toot. And she'll be wearing pink pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. Wearing pink pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. She'll be wearing pink pajamas, wearing pink pajamas. She'll be wearing pink pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch, yum, yum. Hi, babe, hold back, toot, toot. Good for you, my friends. That is a sequence. That is the order. The order was toot, toot. Six white horses, hold back. Hi, babe. Yum, yum. Scratch, scratch. That's the order or the sequence for that song. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this land is your land. This land is my land. From Bona Vista to Vancouver Island. From the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake waters. This land was made for you and me. Listen to the water, listen to the water rolling down the river. Listen to the water, listen to the water rolling down the river. And I mentioned that song today because over the long weekend, you might be out walking near a river or a river, a stream, a creek, a lake. All of these things are really high right now. The water is moving fast 
and it's high in the river because we've had some rain and it's springtime and always in the spring, the rivers run higher. Just be careful not to get too close to the side because the current or the speed of the water sometimes can pull you into the water. So be careful with that one. But do enjoy going outdoors and going for a walk, play basketball, take out your skateboard, um, go do some music outside or listen to some music or play an instrument outside. Go with your family for a walk or go to the park. I think going outside this weekend is a really good thing for your body. It's a really good thing for the vitamin D that we take in from the sun. It helps our body, but it also really, really helps your mood. If you're feeling sad, depressed, angry, frustrated, isolated, if you're feeling like you're all alone at home, going outdoors can make you feel so much better. All things on earth shall pass under the sky, but music alone shall live Music alone shall live, music alone shall live and never die. Yeah, start creating some music at your place or listen to some music. Let's do some hand breathing today. Remember this one? Breathe it in and out. In and out. Breathe it in. Out. And do it one more time slowly. Breathe it in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. breathing for today. Let's look at the calendar. Here's the sequence, the order for the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Thursday, good for you. So if today is Thursday, tomorrow will be good. Friday. And yesterday has already gone by. Yesterday was Wednesday. Awesome. So today is Thursday and the month is May. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Thursday, May 20th. 20th. I use a TH sound at the end. Th. The 20th. Let's count to 20 together. All these zebras, we can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Good for you. Let's go backwards from 20 down to 1. 20, 19, 
18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good for you. Okay, let's have a look at some of these things. So, every day I'm expecting that you're doing jobs at your house. That's what teenagers do. They contribute to the household. Here's some of the jobs you could do. The recycling, dusting, make your bed every day, my friends. Tidy up books or activities that you have out. Set the table. Put the dishes out on the table for the meal. Sorting cutlery at your house. Putting all the forks, the knives, the spoons together. You could even practice rolling cutlery in a napkin. You're at the age where I really think all of you should know how to change the toilet paper when it when it's empty the roll is here you can put the new one on here's some other activities at your house practicing opening and closing jars cleaning inside the sinks or the bathtub or the shower wiping the table or wiping the counter Here's a good one for you, my friends. Get the brush and the cleanser and clean inside your toilet. Practice folding napkins or folding laundry. Putting the laundry in and out of the machines. Sweeping or vacuuming. And if you have a dishwasher, put the dishes in or out of the dishwasher. My friends, those are things that you can be doing at your house. And if you happen to have plants at your house, you could also be watering the plants. Here's your homework for tonight. You still have some of these sequence sheets at your house. I want you to do two sequence sheets. And you might recall that a sequence is the order first second third fourth that's the sequence and so with your scissors i want you to practice cutting cut the four pictures at the bottom cut cut this is kind of a cool one because the story this story is about getting fit and doing some fitness. I see the teenager is lifting the weights up. I see the teenager bending to lift it up. I see the teenager has the bar at about his at about his neck area. And then I see a picture of him going into the gym to pick up the weights. So what do you think happened first? Did he go and look for the weights or did he start lifting the weight? First in the sequence, he has to start by looking for the weights. That's the first step. And then, of course, once he's found the weight, he starts to lift. That's number two. So that's the second part. Then he lifts, lifts, lifts it to his neck. That's third. And then he lifts it all the way up. That's fourth in the sequence. And you have this paper in your homework that you can glue them on. So two homework sheets. 
and a clock. Here we go, my friends. Here's one of the clocks that we practice with a lot in our class. Practice moving the hands, the hands of a clock. That sounds funny when you say hands of a clock, but these arrows that point to the time, we call those the hands of a clock. And I see all the numbers from one to 12. So another part of your homework, I happen to have a paper plate. Maybe you have one. If you don't have a paper plate, just use your journal, a page of, a piece of paper in your journal. Use any paper you might have. You could even make this on newspaper if you want. One of the flyers that comes in from the grocery store. The first thing I did was I made 12 circles you can see all the circles going around. Then we know that 12 o'clock starts at the top of the clock, but I want you to fill in all the numbers in the sequence, in the order. So first it's good for you, one, and then number two, Good, two. And then number three, four, good for you. Five, six, seven, eight, good. Nine, ten, and good, eleven. Voila. I want you to do all the numbers in order in the sequence to 12. So that's your homework, but the good news is tomorrow's Friday and Miss Coulterman never gives homework on a Friday. The weekend is yours to enjoy with your family. Now, in math, I've been talking to you about patterns. A, B, a, B, A, B is a pattern. A, B, A, B, A, B is a pattern. Or A, B, C, A, B, C. Three things for that one. And the pattern before that was two. So with some paper at my house, and you can make this if you want at your house with some paper, or some markers. I made square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. That's my pattern. Or the pattern can be red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. And then for the second line, I changed it up a little bit. I started with the triangle, triangle square, triangle square, triangle square, triangle square. That's my pattern. And this is called an AB pattern because it just has two parts. One, two, one, two, one, two, or AB, a, B, A, B. However, once you learn how to make a pattern with something, many artists start to take that pattern and they repeat the pattern over and over again. And I try to do it a little bit here. I'm not really successful at it. But once you start to repeat the pattern without any gaps or white showing, and you're not overlapping them, then it's called a tessellation. It's a big word, tessellation. But I want to show you how some artists have been so successful with this. Look, they did the pattern, A, B, A, B, A, B. And when they repeat the pattern, it makes a beautiful 
piece of art called a tessellation. Look at this one. It almost looks like a quilt. The way that people make quilts and designs on a quilt. The pattern keeps repeating itself in a tessellation. And here's another one. It kind of looks like seahorses. It is seahorses. Pattern over and over again, repeating itself. That's a tessellation. And the last one I want to show you, I think this is really cool. Look at that. Dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. That's the pattern. Dark and light. So you could try making a tessellation at your house. with something you enjoy doing. Here's something else you could do at your house. Practice for nail polish. Now, it takes a little bit of time before you really learn how to put nail polish on your nails. So my suggestion is to make a picture of your hands, just like Miss Coulterman made. And at the end of each finger is your nail. And I want you to practice putting the nail polish on the nail and you go you practice tr moving on the nail from your finger out towards the end of your nail so for example you don't paint it like we do painting a picture you don't go back and forth and you do, you really don't go across the nail you go from the finger out and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. You go from the finger out, finger out, finger out, finger out. Let's try practice that again. Start at the finger and go out, out, out. And each time I do a fingernail, I dip it in my nail polish, start at the finger and go out, out, out. I just want to show you, for this particular one, we're not going across or we're not going around, okay? Because that gets messy on per a person's nail. And if you want to practice doing it on someone, you're going to go from their hand out, hand out, hand out. And practice yourself. Practice doing some nails on a piece of paper. Okay. So that's the nails. Here's something else I want you to be practicing at your house. Hopefully you've got some paper clips. They're not even very expensive if you have them from the dollar store, for example. And you've got a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. And practice putting the paper clip on the toilet roll. On the toilet roll. And on the toilet roll. Or if you've got a piece of cardboard or a piece of board from a cracker box or a, a, a cereal box, we don't need to put them all in recycling. You could use it again. Practice putting the clips on, paper clip on, paper clip on, until you have it filled and then take it off, off, off. This is really good for your fine motor skills. Putting it on and off. So that's an activity for your house. 
Now this weekend, because it's the Victoria Day holiday, hopefully you're gonna get outside, maybe go for a nice nature walk. And I'm always encouraging the students to pick up rocks. I love rock collections. You might find them beside the river or in a, perhaps if you go walking in the woods, you might find some rocks or at a park and have some fun with them. Have some fun painting a rock. Or this one is the one I did yesterday because right now we have the theme of turtles for World Turtle Day. You could use them as paperweights. You could use them in your bedroom, on your dresser. You could use them in the window. You could use them in a garden. Wouldn't that look pretty in a garden? So you can paint rocks. Now, for my sensory box today, what can it be? Today, I chose to put in different things that are squishy. Squishy. To get your hand squishing. Squishing something. So, for example... I've got this funny character that we have here in, in my grandchildren's room here at my home. And he, he or she, this character is really good for squishing, squishing, squishing. And then try it in your other hand. Squish, squish, squish. Here's something else that's squishy, a balloon filled with lentils or chickpeas or rice and squish, squish, squish. Change it over to the other hand. Squish, squish, squish. And the other one I have is some Play-Doh. And I know what you're gonna say, Miss Colderman, Play-Doh is for little kids. That is not true, my friends. Even adults enjoy playing with Play-Doh. Or they like making dough. You could make some dough. It's the same thing as, as Play-Doh. This just happens to be one from the dollar store that you could play with. However, you can make your own dough with flour and water. Mix it in a bowl and just get in there and start squishing. Squishing the dough and rolling the dough and perhaps cut it, cut it, practice your cutting. These are all things you can be doing at your house to keep your skills up and to build the strength in your hands. So today, my sensory box are squishy items. Now, let me get my, oh, one more thing. Because this weekend is the holiday weekend, there's a good chance you might be playing some games. Hopefully playing some games with your family. And I'm going to bring you back, I'm going to circle back to a chart that I did last week about playing cards. Playing cards are not expensive. Usually people have a deck of playing cards at their house. So some of the things you can do is you can sort them, all the red ones in one pile, all the black ones in one pile, or you could sort them by number. Put all the number seven together, put all the number 10 together, or you could sort them by put all the diamonds together, all the hearts together, or put them in sequence. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or play some games with them. Play a matching game or a card game. Go fish. Matching is fun because you can lay the cards out on a table and um, try to find, try to match two of the cards. So that's a good one for you. But I want to circle back to this game rules. 
Now, often at school, we play board games together. And the number one rule, the first rule is you have to wait for your turn. In a game, everybody gets a turn. So sometimes I know it might seem a little boring, but you have to wait till your turn comes around again. Everybody gets a turn. So these are the four sequence, the order of playing a game. Number one, wait for your turn. Number two, play the game. Number three, Stay seated. You have to stay with the game until you all decide the game is finished. And then number four is everybody cleans up the game together. Four steps, the order. Take your turn, play the game, stay seated, stay at the game, mm and then help clean up, okay? You're in high school now. Those are the things you can do when you're playing a game. Okay, now where is, here we go. I wanna show you a different artist today. I think I started to show you her picture yesterday. Her name is Georgia O'Keefe. And here's her picture. She's an American artist. And um, she liked to do paintings, beautiful paintings of flowers and nature. These are beautiful, vibrant colors that she used. And she lived out in the desert area, like a desert, I guess you could say, of United States of America. And so she was so inspired by the beautiful landscape, the beautiful area that she could see. And in particular, she created this beautiful painting. And this is interesting because she took this black line, which is sort of the mid line of the picture, okay? The black line is the mid line. And then everything she did on the top of the picture, she did the same on the bottom of the picture. Okay? She's got a mountain up here, and she has the reflection of the mountain in the water. She has a mountain here, and she has the reflection of the mountain in the water. She has these little bushes and plants here, and she has the reflection of those in the water. And this is called a mirror image, a mirror. Just like when you're looking in a mirror, you see your own face. It's a mirror. You see exactly the way you look. Well, imagine that this is the mirror in the middle. So, she can see this half is the same as this half. It's a mirror image. Look at it this way. You can see it's the same on both sides. It's symmetrical and it's a mirror image. So I thought today, what the heck, I'm going to try. Now I always say I'm inspired by her work but I'm going to make it my own, okay? I'm not going to do it exactly the way she does it. I'm going to make do it my own way. And this time, instead of using the kinds of paint that I would use, let's say, for this rock, this kind of paint is acrylic paint because it helps to stick to the rock. The paint I want to use today is called watercolor. And look at all these gorgeous colors I have. I hope I can show you. Oops, without tipping the paint. I've got pink and blue and green and yellow and orange. And the fun about watercolor is instead of getting this really, really 
dark color, like these acrylic colors, very bold colors. Watercolor just gives you a very, very light color. And I thought that would be fun to try to make my own light colored Georgia O'Keeffe inspired picture. So the first thing I did was with a black marker, I made a line that shows me the middle. And with my paintbrush, I'm gonna start by making a green mountain. And I'm going to make the same on the bottom. So I made one mountain on the top, and then I made one that is the reflection in the water. I made the line, and then I'm going to fill it in back and forth. See, this is when you do go back and forth with your brush. For watercolor, you can go back and forth. For putting on nail polish, not back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. I'm painting a green mountain. Beautiful green mountain. Back and forth. Often I used to leave out watercolor paints during your lunch so that when you were finished your lunch at school, every day if you wanted, you could paint with watercolors. And some of the little watercolor kits, you could just buy watercolor kits at a dollar store and they're really cool paints to work with. And as you use watercolors, you could mix two colors together and you could create your own colors. So I started with this green mountain. I'm going to try to fill it in a little bit here. There we go. And then the next thing I want to add is probably something in a blue, because I love the color blue. So that's my green mountain. And now with my blue, I'm just going to make a nice design. Whoa. And I'm going to try to make the same design for my mirror image. Okay. So I've got blue. And I go back and forth with my blue. And the thing about watercolors that's also really neat is where two colors mix. So for example, the green of my mountain and now my blue, where they mix together, they create a beautiful new color together. Just like we were mixing primary colors this week to get new colors. So I've got some green, some blue, and the last part I'm gonna add today is going to be in pink, like a pink sky up here. Because if I add too many colors on top of each other now, the picture will all run together. It will mix together and I don't want to mix it together. So I'm just going to put some bold pink, pink, pink up in this corner. And then there we go. And then I'm going to do the same on the mirror image, which is down in here. See what I mean? So I've got a green mountain, a little bit of blue, and now some pink. 
and the pink is a mirror image of the one above. It's the same shape, or kind of the same shape. I'm going to leave that for now because I really want it to dry a little bit. Watercolors, I already see them running together a little bit. I'll continue with that a little bit later. But I do want to circle back to talking about colors again. Red and yellow. These are the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And these three colors, if you combine them together, they make all different colors. For example, red and yellow make orange. Yellow and blue make green. And blue and red make purple, Miss Coulterman's favorite color. So today the story I'm gonna close with is about an animal that changes color. It's a reptile called a chameleon. And a chameleon is cool because it can change colors. It can change colors for whatever setting it's in. So for example, right here, the chameleon is the color of the flowers so that he can hide. He can be camouflaged or hide in the flowers. So let's look at some of the colors that this chameleon Deep in the rainforest, all was not well. Chameleon was having trouble with his colors. Humph, he said crossly, I'm sitting on yellow flowers, so I should be yellow. But look at me, I'm, you're right, red. A chameleon, if he's sitting on yellow flowers, he should be turning yellow. But instead, he's red. Something's gone wrong. Chameleon hopped onto a stone. He thought he would turn gray like the stone. He turned blue with pink spots. Walking through the grass, mm -hmm. He thought he would turn green like the grass. He turned orange. Uh-oh, let's go talk to his friends, he says. He's in the rainforest. He meets up with monkey and meerkat. Those are some of the animals in the rainforest. Monkey and meerkat strolled by and said, uh, You look a bit off color today, chameleon. Chameleon right now is blue and red and orange and yellow, all different colors. Chameleon says, I'm in a color muddle. Hmm, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that funny looking bug last night. What if lion comes prowling? That's why the chameleon wants to be the correct flower uh, color of the flower so that the chameleon can hide and the lion won't come and chase the chameleon. If I can't change my color, the lion will eat me up. Easy, says the monkey. We'll help. No problem, says the meerkat. So they're willing to help out the chameleon. Close your eyes and think of yourself a color. I am yellow, I am yellow, I am yellow, chanted the chameleon. He started pacing up and down, up and down, up and down. He even slipped on a banana peel. Splat, a mango fell on top of his head. Ouch, I am yellow now from the mango falling on top of me. Easy, says the monkey. 
No problem, says the meerkat. We're going to help you get your color back. Later, as the chameleon lay deep in thought on a branch, and now the chameleon is blue, but he should be green on those leaves. He thought to himself, he's on the branch. He thought, if the lion comes, he will eat me because I can't blend with this color of green. I can't hide. I can't camouflage myself. Lion is coming, said the meerkat. Lion is coming, said the monkey. Ah, look at the chameleon's face. Ah, he's a little bit scared. He can't seem to hide. He leapt forward to some purple flowers to hide. Oh, well, that now it's a good time because he is turning purple. Splash. Chameleon fell into the river, coughing. <laughs> oh, forgot to cover. <coughs> cover my cough. Coughing and sputtering about, he scrambled aboard a log. Only joking, yelled the monkey. Only joking, said the meerkat. We thought if we scared you, then maybe you would change colors. But indeed, he's now on a log, and he didn't change to the log color. They thought maybe, just like if someone's got the hiccups, if you scare them, mm -hmm. they can get rid of their hiccups. At nighttime, the monkey and the meerkat met in secret to make some more plans. What a great idea, said the monkey. Let's do it. I wonder what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. By it looks like the monkey has made his face look like the lion's face. By dawn, dawn is when the sun comes up. We call it dawn. The pair were ready for action. This disguise is really scary, said the meerkat. The fright will definitely make the chameleon's wacky color problem return to normal. <laughs> Here's the monkey, and he's trying to scare the chameleon as if he's a lion. Grrr, said the monkey, with a great rumbling roar. Help! It's a lion, said the chameleon. He tried to turn green, like the grass and the leaves, but instead... He turned red. Good for you. He turned red. Great disguise, said Chameleon. I'm sorry it didn't work. I still didn't turn green. But the monkey and the meerkat wouldn't give up. Lion, they shouted. And Chameleon munched his lunch. A bug. He's eating a bug. Chameleon almost choked on his beetle. Instead of going brown, he should have turned brown like the log if he was really scared of the lion. Lion screeched the meerkat as Chameleon slurped a drink. Chameleon hid under the pink flowers. But everyone saw him. He was so bright in his color. It's hopeless, said Chameleon. That lion is going to eat me because I can't hide in the green grass anymore. I can't hide. Chameleon flopped into the shade, feeling worried. His face was all worried and upset. Nothing worked. What could he do if Lion really came back? What can he do? But just then, Chameleon heard a very loud grrrr. 
It wasn't the meerkat. It wasn't the monkey. It was the lion. It really was the lion. You could see the fangs in his mouth. That would be very scary for the chameleon. Chameleon just froze. This is what freezing looks like. He froze. And he gulped. Gulp. Lion was towering over him. What are you, said the lion, licking his lips like he wants to eat the chameleon. Uh, 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 I'm a red spotted thing, I think, says chameleon. No, I'm pink and purple. Uh, no, I'm red. Uh, no, I'm blue. And I'm, I'm purple. <laughs> the lion looked puzzled. Suddenly, chameleon had a brain wave. He thought really quickly on the spot to problem solve this. He says to the lion, I've got funny coloritis. Chameleon, he told the lion, he's got funny coloritis. Swallow me. If you eat me, if you swallow me, you're going to get a very icky tummy. You're going to get sick because I've got this funny coloritis and you will get sick if you eat me. Funny coloritis? Growled the lion. Are you sure? Oh, yes, said the chameleon. Eat me and you'll end up looking crazy colored like me. And you, my friend, you are the king of the jungle. You don't want to turn all different colors like me. You want to remain in your beautiful lion color. Yikes, gasped the lion. I'm off. I'm out of here. I'm on my way. And he disappeared in a cloud of dust. That means he ran away really fast. Oh, three cheers for the clever chameleon. Look at this cute chameleon now. I see him as pink and blue and yellow. He's got rid of that lion forever. Hooray for chameleon's funny colors, the meerkat cried. And chameleon was so happy, he went pink with pleasure, with bright blue and orange spots, of course because the chameleon was able to scare the lion away with his beautiful colors, because the lion did not want to turn all colorful. The lion didn't want to get sick with the coloritis. The lion wanted to stay that color that the lion is, that beautiful tan color. And there we go, my friends. We're at the end of this day, but I'll see you online this afternoon. Friends, I will remember you, I'll think of you, I'll play with you. And when another day is through, I'll still be friends with you. Goodbye, friends. Go create joy.